Hi. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Welcome to Woodlands Youth Two Minute Devotionals. We're talking this week about prayer. Um, and in this time, we're actually staying in the Sermon on the Mount like we were in yesterday. Um, but Jesus goes on to say this. He says, And when you pray, don't keep babbling like the pagans, for they think they'll be heard because of their many words. Don't be like them, for your Father knows what you need before you ask him. So again, you might read these kind of passages and be confused or just, I don't know, read past it and not think about it. But what would happen in the ancient world is people thought that if they had the right words, if they said the right phrases over and over and over again, that they could like convince the gods to do something for them. So imagine somebody worshiping Zeus, and he believed that if he knew the exact right words to say, and he said it 400 times, I don't know, 12 times, whatever it would be, and if he said it the right way, that then that god would like have to do what he wanted. So maybe he really needed crops to grow, or somebody in his family was sick. He thought, okay, I'll go, I'll pray this prayer over and over and over again, and if I get the words exactly right, and Zeus wants to, or maybe I even make him, he'll heal. And God's saying, that's not how it is with him. We don't say things over and over again. Um, we don't try to manipulate him into doing it. And, and you might think to yourself, I don't do that, Justin. Like, I don't think that if I repeat this thing over and over and over again, God will do what I want. But I think sometimes we do other things. Like we make vows to God or we think, um, you know, God, I'll do this thing for you if you'll do this thing for me. Um, God, I'll be a certain way. God, I won't ever do that sin again. We, we, in our prayers, we start to try to convince God or maybe even manipulate God into doing what we want. And Jesus isn't necessarily saying, wow, you're a horrible person. Instead, he's saying, like, he already knows what you need. You don't have to go to him to try to manipulate him to talk to you in prayer. He already knows. So when you go and you're asking something, just ask. Don't try to convince him. Don't try to manipulate him. Just ask him. So the question for this week is, do you ever try to do that? Do you ever try to manipulate God or maybe make deals with him in order to get him to do what you want? And then go find a quiet, lonely place and spend a couple minutes talking to God.